Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we will give an overview of the timeline page within AI. The timeline allows the user to create and playback media in a preset sequence at exact times. This is often used when a timed sequence is required to match a show to music or for repeated or automated shows such as installations. New for version 7 and due to popular demand we have added the inclusion of a horizontal timeline. Hooray! This can now be chosen from the system settings button in the top level window of AI. Let's take a look at the features of the timeline. On the right hand side of the screen we have some icons that can control the timeline. At the top we have the play function to start the timeline from where the playhead is. This can also be started using the spacebar. Next we have a pause function to stop playback. The next two functions are concerned with locking the timeline to either the system clock or locking it to MIDI timecode if you want to control playback from the performance page. The next icon will move the playhead back to zero. You can also delete the currently selected clip from the timeline with the trash icon. Next we can set the playback mode for the timeline. This can be set to loop or to hold on the last frame. Finally there is an icon to save the timeline to a file. This allows you to save the timeline out and then load it up and trigger it from the roller queue on the performance page. It is worth noting that the timeline doesn't save the media clips with it, instead just referencing the original files, though your media clips will need to be kept in the same place on your computer. The user can add an uncompressed 16-bit WAV file to the timeline to sequence to. Simply drag your WAV file from a Windows browser onto the timeline and this will display as a cyan audio waveform next to the timeline. You can then add hit points along the length of the timeline to act as sync points for the clips. This is done by using the insert key on your computer keyboard. This will add a red line every time you press the key. Now you will find that you can snap your media clips to the hit points allowing you to create precisely synced edits. To add media onto the timeline, you can drag and drop from a Windows browser or alternatively use the browser on the left hand side of the screen and drag onto the timeline. As you drag onto the timeline, you will see a green outline indicating the length of the clip. Once you have a clip on the timeline, it is possible to move it to a different position by hitting the M key on your keyboard and moving the clip, then clicking the left mouse button. You can also change the length of clips by hovering the mouse over the edge of the clip and then using the ALT key and left click to resize it. It should be noted that this is not a time stretch facility, so if you make the clip longer in length than it actually was, it will simply loop the clip. You can scroll the timeline by clicking and dragging to move it. It is possible to zoom on the timeline by either using the middle mouse scroll wheel or by click dragging the magnifying glass icon next to the timeline. If you want to move the playhead to a different position, simply left click where you'd like to move to. If you require more layers, you can add up to four layers of clips per fixture in the timeline. To add more layers, simply use the plus key on your computer keyboard. It is possible to program various parameters of the clips to change automatically over time using keyframe points. When a clip is selected on the timeline, a parameter list menu appears to the left of the clip, and this lists which parameters can be controlled. Once a parameter has been selected from the list, you can right click in the clip area to add keyframes, which are shown by orange dots on the timeline. Once the keyframe is in, 
you can change the parameter value by left clicking and dragging to move it to another value. It is also possible to copy and paste control keyframes to other clips on the timeline. Simply by selecting the control nodes you wish to copy and using control C and control V. This concludes our overview of the timeline in AI. For more help and tutorials, please visit our website www.avalightsmedia.com.